Hello friends, it's me again. Returning subscribers, shouts out, you guys are killing it as always. New subscribers, hello, welcome to my channel, you know what I'm saying? I'm the Festival Finesse. this is a new channel, so thank you guys for checking in. On this channel, I talk about all things EDM, I vlog shows that I go to about once a week, and the reason you guys are getting a video like this today is because there's no shows going on this week. So I'm posting a video to fill the void, and today I'm gonna be giving you guys some advice on something I found very helpful and very beneficial, especially being from New Jersey and raving season round. Now let me stop here and say if you're some ultra plur tutu wearing princess or the molly plug who's getting $20 every five minutes, this video is not intended for you. This is for my base heads who go out every week, who know it's a struggle, who are living off a dime and a prayer. That's me. I'm that person in case you guys couldn't figure that out. This is for you guys to help you guys make it through that struggle and to really finesse all these festivals and shows. For as long as I can remember, I've been standing out on these lines in a t-shirt in the freezing cold yelling out fuck code check. We're gonna finesse the line and fuck code check and go right in. You already know we out here. T-shirt gang, fuck code check. T-shirt gang, fuck code check. Finesse gang, fuck away, fuck code check. We out here. And I think it's a huge waste of money and a huge waste of time. I've been going to shows for the last three to four years and not once have I ever paid for code check. Simply because there's no need for it. If you know how to finesse. Now here's where Kojak is a huge waste of money. Imagine this, you're online outside of your favorite venue waiting to see your favorite DJ. You're not part of Finesse Gang, so you waited in the back of the line. You had to wait in over an hour. You finally get inside, he's playing your favorite song. Do you really want to wait on another line for 10, 15, 20 more minutes? No. You want to give somebody $8 to put your coat on a rack? No. That $8 can be used to get something so much better like a bottle of water. You're giving somebody $8 literally to do this. You are paying for a spot on a rack to put your jacket. That is stupid, that is a waste of money, and it really just does not make any sense. You are getting ripped off when you do coat check. Now I already see these comments coming, but my local venue has a really good coat check line, and they're already super fast, and they wait more than five minutes. Well, at the end of the show when it's over, and everyone's trying to go home, everyone's gonna wanna get their coat and everyone's gonna be on that line, and it's not gonna be a five minute wait. It's also gonna be 3 a.m. You're gonna be really hot, really tired. So fuck tired. And you're gonna wish that you didn't give that person $8 to have that spot on the rack for that jacket that you wore for maybe 10 minutes in the cold that you didn't wear the rest of the night. Sunnyvale, very hot, very cramped, very small, very sweaty. Why are you gonna bring a sweatshirt into a hot ass venue like that? Now you can't just leave and walk out of the venue at your own leisure. You gotta wait on somebody else to get your shit. That doesn't make any sense. Leave when you wanna leave. And now on top of keeping track of your phone, your wallet, your keys, your ID, you have to keep track of your little tiny coat check ticket. If you lose that ticket, guys, you don't understand. Most of the time, you have to wait for everybody to get their coat, and then they'll pick from the bottom of the barrel to see what's remaining based on who's left. Sometimes your objects aren't even there because someone else takes them by mistake. Then your $8 ticket costed you a $50 ticket because that's how much your jacket probably cost that you coat checked. And the only way to really get around all this is to just leave this set early. And if you're leaving this set early, I'm probably gonna judge you. Not because you're leaving this set early, but because you're leaving this set early to get your coat. Your coat that you didn't even wear inside. Your coat that you paid $8 for to put on a rack. That's why I'm judging you. Now, if you don't wanna be a lame and leave this set early, here are some real ways how to finesse coat check, courtesy of the Festival Finesser. First things first, check the weather and see if you even need to bring a coat. If you know you can withstand the weather without a coat, don't even bring one. Duh. You'd be surprised at how many people just show up to the line, realize they don't need their coat, and then end up coat checking their coat, not because they were cold outside, but because they were too hot inside. And the people that are too hot but still don't coat check their shit are the people that are just uncomfortably, awkwardly jumping around with their jacket and their hood just fucking flopping up and down. Try not to hit me. And it's really just an inconvenience to you and the people that are around you if you're carrying your coat. If the weather is unbearable and you really can't make it out there in a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt, bring a throwaway hoodie. A hoodie that you don't care about, a hoodie that you could have lost, stolen, destroyed, whatever, and no questions asked, you wouldn't care. 
Then once you get inside, you take off that hoodie and you hide it. You put it in a crevice, under the couch, behind a garbage can, somewhere that no one's going to find it. And don't put it with somebody else's stuff. Because if you found somebody else's stuff, somebody else is going to be smart enough to find your stuff and take it. It's happened to me and it's not fun. So really go out of your way, go to the top balcony, go where no one's really chilling, and just find a place to stash it, check on it periodically, and that is the most foolproof way to finesse coat check. And if someone does happen to steal your shit, that's why it's a throwaway hoodie, you don't care. Now, if you're still watching this video and you think everything I'm saying is a load of garbage and this kid is cheap and can't afford $5 and probably drinks water out of the bathroom sink, at least listen to my advice if you are going to coat check. Combine your items. Take your hoodie and put it in your friend's jacket pocket. Take your windbreaker and put it in your friend's hoodie pocket. This way you guys only got to pay for one hanger and split the cost. I've seen some places that allow you to check bags and seen four dudes each put their jacket into the bag and then put two, four, six, eight dollars on the counter and pay for coat check that way. That was super dope. Squad shit. Also, don't put your coat check ticket in your phone case. I've seen some places that recommend this, but if you're anyone like me and jump into every mosh pit you see, you're probably going to end up losing your phone, which then ends up in you losing your coat check ticket. Then you got to wait in line till the end after everybody has gotten their coach checked. Everybody. And that's something you just don't want to go through. I've done it before, not even for myself, but waiting for other people. You can imagine how I felt saying that fuck coat check and having to wait for someone to get their coat because it was checked. And checked improperly after they left the set early they left the set early and they still have to wait fuck coat check and yeah lastly if you guys are going to coat check just know you guys are going to coat check and you saw this video and you know you got to get there early to compensate for the time however you cannot beat it at the end you're going to leave early and you know everyone else is going to be leaving early and there's going to be a rush and just a huge mob of people at the coat check line after the show you really can't beat it that's just a part of life and you gotta suck it up or fuck coat check and just like that, guys, we're wrapping up another vlog. Those are all the words of wisdom I have for you guys today. I hope you guys were able to take some of my advice and use it in the real world at your next show. I hope something resonates with you. What do you guys think about Kochek? Let me know in the comments. Do you think I'm crazy for not getting Kochek? How much do you guys even pay for Kochek? I've never actually gotten it. Let me know how much your local venue makes you guys pay. Have you guys had any crazy good experiences with Kochek? Do you guys have any crazy bad experiences with Kochek? Let the world know in the comments. I can't be the only one with all these little tips and tricks up my sleeve. Thank you guys for watching again. I'm the Festival Finesser. I will see you guys for the next vlog, at the next show, or for the next word of advice. I don't even know what it is. But till the next one, I will see you guys soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.